Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel TK Electronics. I hope you all are doing fine, friends. Well, friends, uh, thank you much, thank you very much uh, for your uh, suggestions and comments and leaving comments on in my comment box uh, as much as possible. I'm trying to uh, reply all those uh, uh, comments which is possible with me. So, friends, uh, I have today for repairing QSCK12 uh, Active loudspeaker. So this is also one of uh, branded and best uh, active monitor. Uh, okay, so let's uh, check what is the issue in this. I will put it on. I put it on. So limit light is on. You can see. This light is on, so this is the problem. Okay, let's check what is the issue in this. So, what we will do, uh, we will remove all the screws. So, and check what is the problem inside. Just keep watching my video, guys, till end. Guys, I have removed all the screws, so we will just take this out. So we need to disconnect this all power supply. This so we need to separate this one so then we can able to check the amplifier circuit. This is the main SMPS and this is the amplifier circuit and this is the input board. Okay, so what we will do fire board because when limit uh, light is illuminating limit light, so it means the problem is with the amplifier board. So we'll check step by step. So guys, we'll check some voltages over here so I will put it on so guys we will check the I have already put it on so we will check the voltages some ok 14 plus 14 minus 14 and uh, 6 ok perfect 14 again point to the control circuit that is also okay so now the problem is our voltages to the input board is okay so we will concentrate on the amplifier side okay so we check over here just keep watching the video guys see here voltages Still dropping something like that. See here, there is a certain problem will be there. I must get, I must get over here some more than 80 volt. See coming, going, coming, going. So I think the problem must be somewhere here. See, I must get over here voltage on this terminal. I must get some 80 volt, 80 to 70 volt, like this on this diode. But the voltage is getting dropped, coming and going. So, what we will do, guys, we will put it off. Okay, we will put it off and check the ohmic test. So, I put it off now. So, we will check the ohmic test. Okay, so. I am having some doubt over here, so we'll check the ICs. We'll check over here. So, guys, we'll check some uh, ohms near this IC. So, here this is common as ground pin number 9, and this IC is. IRS 20957 IRS 20957 this IC so we'll check some is there any shorting I kept on uh, ground so we'll check on 
buzzer range so I kept on the buzzer range see pin 2 3 4 pin number 4 is showing 36 ohms actually I must not so here it is not I must not show this one so so before replacing this IC before confirming this IC is faulty we need to check some other parts over here because uh, should not supposed to show see show 37 ohms should not supposed to show so Now what we will do, how about uh, this side, Achha, this also is showing from 37, so how about this PF, it's ok, uh, 14k, 55k. Okay. So these resistors are showing okay. This is point two. Okay. Okay. So this is, I think this is transistor, ok, so it's the diode, this ok, how about this one, so this is showing some shorting over here, see, <coughs> this is the diode showing some ohms, See guys, this diode showing some ohms. So what we'll do? We'll before removing this IC, okay. Before replacing this IC, we need to check this diode because this diode also connected with this IC. <coughs> so we'll just take it out that one. So I remove it out. I have removed out so we'll check this one so guys this diode is shorted you can see so now we'll check over here is there any shorting so now no more shorting before this pin number 4 is showing some ohms but now it is not showing see this charge discharge so guys uh, this diode is faulty see showing 36 ohms so we will replace this diode with the new one check so maybe because of this diode showing uh, the showing in protection mode limiter mode so we will We'll replace this diode with the new one so guys we'll change this diode this is normal diode okay so we'll change this diode with the new one so i got the new diode we'll change this one okay guys so this is the faulty diode and this is the good diode so we'll check it out first
this is good so this is good diode so guys we'll replace the diode now So guys, we have fixed the diode. So now we'll check the shorting. So it is now it is okay. Okay. So it is okay now. So there is no shorting now. See, and because of this diode, so power is getting dropped. Okay. So this is faulty diode. okay guys so we have replaced this diode is a normal diode okay so with the new one so now our system is good it is not showing any any shorting here pin number 4 okay guys see so now what we will do we will put it on and check what is the status So guys, we'll sit back. So we'll check the status. Now I will check if there any uh, light is coming here. So we'll connect the power. Okay. So. On. So I will put it on. Put it on. Power comes. So guys, okay. So now the limiter it is gone. So our power is normal. So if we view the input signal, so we'll get the input signal also. See, I have not connected the speaker connection. So channel 1 and channel 2 both lights is on. So guys. So finally we have see power is also on. Okay. So guys we have repaired it. So thank you very much for watching my video. Take care. See you very soon in next video. Bye.